Here is VirtualBox's home page. This is where you will go to find everything you need about VirtualBox. Uh, right here on the very front of the home page, uh, there's a little bit about what operating systems it will work on. And if you need a little bit more detail about the system, you can go right here to their documentation. You can find their user manual and various other kinds of documentation for VirtualBox to find out the true uh, system specifications and to figure out exactly what you need to run VirtualBox. If you actually want to download the program, just go over here to their downloads page and you can find the D VirtualBox download for whatever operating system you're running. It is a completely free download. You don't need in to put it down any kind of payment. There's no login system, nothing at all. Just go click download and you will be the proud owner of VirtualBox. I've already have VirtualBox installed on my own laptop, so I don't need to go through the full installation process. It's not a difficult process, it's just like installing almost any other Windows program. Uh, you download it, and then the uh, there's a wizard program that comes right up and helps you install VirtualBox right on your system. Uh, I don't know how it is to install on other operating systems, I would assume it's just as easy, uh, but since Windows is the only operating system I run, I don't really have any personal experience with anything else. Once you get VirtualBox downloaded and ready to go, it's an easy matter to just open it up and start working on any virtual machine you would like. This is what the main page of vir the VirtualBox program actually looks like. Uh, there's options here to create new virtual machines or there's also the settings button to change the settings for a pre-existing virtual machine. Uh, if you'd like to create a new one, you just come in here, you can give it a name, I'll just name it after myself. Oh, that's also where you can pick the operating system. Then you give it however much memory you would like to. Uh, you can create what you do for the virtual hard drive. And then you just click create. It's that easy. If you would like to change the settings on a pre-existing virtual machine, you can just go to settings. And you have tabs here for just general settings. You also have system settings where you can change the memory all allocated to your virtual machine. There are display settings. Uh, here's the storage settings. If you want to run a different operating system on one of your virtual machines, you can just go here and install an ISO you can download for a different operating system of your choosing. Uh, there's also the network settings so you can actually access the internet with your virtual machine and uh, shared folders so your virtual machine can can uh, communicate with your host machine. Uh, once you've got all the settings squared away for your virtual machine you can just click on start with the proper machine highlighted and your new virtual machine will be ready to go. I really enjoy using VirtualBox. It's a really simple, user-friendly method to creating virtual machines. It's free, which is never a complaint from anyone. And uh, it's really convenient. Anyone that's looking into virtualizing any of their systems or networks should really look into using VirtualBox. I really approve it, and I recommend it to anyone that's interested.